click for IB biology, we're now looking at other features of the cell membrane structure here. We're going to be looking at the function and role of glycoproteins and of glycolipids. There's a blank version of this presentation down in the description. There you will also find 10 questions with answers that you can test yourself on this. There's also an AI prompt that you can run in a chatbot to individualize your own assessment, all down in the description there. So two molecules to be looking at, glycoproteins and glycolipids. So glyco, the preface glyco refers to sugar. So here we're thinking of the different forms of glucose and fructose and so forth. And of course, the other part is self-explanatory. So glucose attached to proteins and glucose attached to lipids. So let's take the glycoproteins as a start. Now, glycoproteins, the protein is an integral protein, as illustrated here in our diagram as before. And then we have the chains of sugar residues attached to the extracellular side of the protein. And um, the sequence of sugars is actually um, very significant. So the sequence of sugars needs to be determined. They are branching structures frequently. And uh, this is particularly important in the uh, functions of the cell membrane and of glycoproteins, which include this process here called cell recognition. So in cell recognition, um, we might have, let's say this is one of your cells here like this. Here's your glycoprotein structure like that. And along comes a white blood cell and it will detect the glycoprotein, recognize that it's you, and back away, leaving you alone. However, if the same white cell, these are your cells as well, it has a receptor, locates a bacterial cell with a glycoprotein, uh, which it does not recognize as self, then it will attack and destroy that bacterial infection. So that's part of the cell recognition. They're also involved in signaling processes. When cells communicate with each other with molecules, these can act as receptors. The second molecule to be aware of that functions like this is the glycolipid. So a combination here of sugars and lipids. The sugar residues are on the outside in the extracellular uh, fluid, as shown here in the diagram. And the lipid component is usually located in this region here within the hydrophobic fatty acid tail zone like that. So that's our lipid here with sugar. And the these molecules can be involved also in cell recognition, but also in, in, in processes such as cell adhesion and a variety of other features. And we'll highlight these as we come across them in different parts of the course. Glycoproteins, glycolipids, cell identity, cell signal receptors, and cell ad adhesion. There's the link to the next video, the channel link, of course, to subscribe with, and the playlist.